Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper. In corner we have Terranak, starting as the purple Terran. Bottom left in corner we have Tender, Tendy, Tenderization. Starting as the pink Terran, this is going to be on Eclipse. And this is game two between these two. Game one, Terranak able to do a seal off two base play. Although I gotta say, Tenderization showed some stronger macro in that space of play. And if Tenderization plays a little bit more safe rather than going for a quick third with lack of scouting information lack of, lack of map control that was a really brave maneuver honestly i think that's that might have been the game costing maneuver potentially because the factories were there to go ahead and and the economy was there to go ahead and roll more units out but building that third command center that's 400 minerals that were not in troops right as Terranak was getting aggressive we'll see if Terranak does the same in this match supply depot being built forward location looks like no front door seal for Taranak we are seeing a front door well maybe a front door seal for Taranak uh mixing up the colors there for half seconds so you got a four you got a four depot and a hugging depot right here this is on eclipse so it is a two-player map so being able to pull shenanigans is going to be a little bit more tricky as you've got that instant scout assuming people are diligent with their scouting it's also a popular map to try to attempt that proxy barracks, but it doesn't look like either player is going to do it. Tenderization, again, going for that barracks out to the corner. And I'm trying to think about what I think about this. So, yeah, you can lift it off and get a little bit... I'm wondering if it's worth it, because, yeah, you get it in play a little bit more rapidly to get that scouting information off. But at the same time, your Marines, I guess, as they're being produced, if there was any sort of pressure, they have a long ways to run to get in a defensive posture, but... Maybe not too worried about that. Refinery being built. I'm curious what some other top level players feel about planting the barracks out to the corner like that. At a more typical position here for Taranak. Initial scout making its way across. We have an initial scout out for Taranak as well. Just a little bit earlier, Taranak slightly ahead economically. Just a sliver ahead, which isn't like a game winning situation. Looks like no initial marine being built where we do have an uh, initial marine opposite side. So Taranak wanting to cut some corners and get that factory out a little bit faster. And so basically what you end up doing is, is sacrificing a bit of scouting information by a few seconds, but you get that vulture out a little bit faster. Factory being built opposite side of the marine, trying to hunt down the SCV, the SCV checking that barracks, seeing that it is not glowing is gonna go ahead and exit. And Taranak, in the meantime, lifting off that barracks has only built the single marine hold, uh, hugging the ramp. And did that marine already get that kill? Or did that... Looks like that SCV's already exited. So SCV's splitting both directions. The marine really on the hunt here. Wants that kill. Marine actually, yeah, double-checking out on the corners. And Taranak looks like it's going to be one... Is playing for one factory into expand. Marine holding up on the high ground in between might get taken out by this vulture as it's being produced second factory being built for tenderization so tenderization is going to play pressure and i assume build a third factory as well this is more of the standard terran meta and eclipse does have a wide open natural choke so terranak is going to have a lot of work to defend against this incoming play so it's going to need a lot of defense very, very rapidly. Let's see if some supply depots or some other things get planted on the front to provide some additional defense. The Marine wandering back to home base. But this is, yeah, going to be three factories and actually an armory being dropped as well for tenderization. Are we just going to see Mass Goliath to start? Kind of uh, maybe uh, some sort of plus one build. This is, I, I've not seen this before. But the three factories are up. Vultures are, have not yet been produced. Machine Shop has been dropped. Vultures are holding up short. Taranak is in the defensive position, building that command center. But this is going to be three factories versus units. Yeah, it's an uh, interesting Goliath build here for tenderization, which I could see working really well against the standard three factory meta that's just heads up vultures. And so right now, yeah, tenderization going to end up ahead as far as just flat units. Unfortunately, with that machine shop, rather than going for siege tanks, Taranak was going to try to play catch up in vulture play. And so because Taranak opting for those vultures, these Goliaths are going to be highly effective, especially because the vultures need to defend this natural expansion. 
and Vulture versus Goliath, especially without mines to support, is going to be a tall order. So initial three Goliaths and a Marine making their way across the map, high ground there, the bunker, or sorry, the bunker, the barracks floating across, first Vulture down, and I think now Taranak has to know he's in trouble. Losing yet another vulture on the front. This is where bunkers are acquired. Like, all, just build everything. Cancel that. Cancel that. Got a siege tank actually working on mines. Holding the high ground. But honestly, just these three Goliaths and this Marine should, should be sufficient. SCV's pulling off the line to engage. Two more Goliaths coming to reinforce. Tenderization actually working against himself by floating that barrack overhead. The Goliaths now stutter-stepping their way back against these vultures. And yeah, here's the thing. If you do not know about damage types... Vultures do not do all that much damage to Goliaths. Goliaths just sitting there, eating the damage, do not care, getting lots of SCV kills. The rest of the SCVs pulling off the line for Taranak to try to defend and getting obliterated. So it looks like it's going to be a quick GG. And actually, I think that's nearly all the SCVs coming off the line. So down to 17 more Vultures coming across, but more Goliaths reinforcing. So Tenderization... Losing a Goliath to a little bit of defense there, but still economically ahead. Can go ahead and grab a natural expansion or just continue this pressure. Yeah, the mines, you can see, against just heads at Goliath, they just chew through it because of their rapid rate of fire. So the natural expansion up. Tenderization has more reinforcements making the way across. Has already obliterated the natural expansion. You can just see how poorly vultures do here. And there is GG from Taranak as the Goliaths are marching in. So quick game two to even the series up 1-1. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.